nor offered. Uh, but we do need to get to our next guest. He is a or an historian. Uh, I don't know whether you prefer that, uh, but uh, please welcome to the show, Darren Maticek. Maticek. Maticek, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Maticek. You, you uh, pronounced it the way it's spelled. I did. Well, that was my prerogative, and I... Also, it's been a little too long since I told you my last name, and so you forgot yeah. how it was pronounced. This is you subtly complaining about how long it's taken uh, to get you on the show, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Wow. Uh, only I got I do have a full bladder. <laughs> hey, well, she can show you where the bathroom is and if no you know idea it, let's just it say I, I don't want to run the risk of having there, sex with this woman. There okay. is a there is a nearly of age high school senior here who can show you to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to meet him. A little guy. <laughs> So, Darren, it's so nice to meet you. You're uh, an historian. A, an historian and an entrepreneur. Oh, and wow. An entrepreneur. Oh, yeah. great. Okay. We have a lot of entrepreneurs are, on the show, not as many historians. And are the two related? Did your entrepreneurial spirit come out of your historian kind of uh, career? It did. It did. The, the passion that I wanted to pursue and my hobby grew into my entrepreneurship. I am hmm. the co silent co-founder of the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, wow. The National... Bobblehead Museum, is that what you said? And Hall of Fame, yeah. And Hall of Fame. Yeah. Hall of Fame for bobbleheads? Or? Yeah, Hall of Fame. Well, that's fun, because it gets sports people in it. And you know what? Bobbleheads... Oh, so it's the, the, the inductees into the Hall of Fame are the Hall of Famers of the sports themselves. It's not like, it's this like, bobblehead are you inducting is so bobbleheads? good. Yeah. We're inducting bobbleheads, not people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <Right. That's>, this <laughs> is why we ask. But funny thing, funny you should mention, bobbleheads are usually of people. Sure, Someti and sometimes True. animals. A fox. But are you? Is the Hall of Fame? I'm so sorry to clarify. <laughs> no, that's all right. Is the bobblehead the is Hall of Did Fame? You say a fox. A fox. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. Got fox it. and a bear. All right. Yeah. Is the bobblehead fox. Hall of Fame represent the Hall of Famer sports figures that are, have bobbleheads? So, like, for example, or Pete, are they just Pete good Rose, bobbleheads? Pete Rose is ineligible to be in the Baseball Hall of Fame, but he could of be such a good bobblehead. That yeah, he that's goes what I'm in. asking. Could his bobblehead be in the Bobblehead Hall of Fame? Yeah, not to further confuse things, but it can. <laughs> Great. What okay, about okay. what about that fox? Did he get into the Hall of Fame? <laughs> it, yeah, the really good fox did. The yeah? good one did. The yeah. How many one. foxes are in there? Uh, two. 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 Okay, but the really two. good one was. Yeah, there are two really good ones that are in there. Okay. But what also, makes... Pete Rose bobblehead is in there. Hank yeah. Aaron bobblehead is in there. Okay. What makes uh, a... Ted Cruz bobblehead is in there? Ted oh, Cruz wow. bobblehead. <laughs> What makes that bobblehead yeah, so was, Hall of Fame worthy? What makes a Hall worthy? of Fame bobblehead? Uh, pretty much someone saying, hey, I'm mailing you my bobblehead. Will you put it in your Hall of Fame? But uh, then let uh, me uh, ask you this, because you also run the the bobblehead, bobblehead museum. museum. Yeah. So are those ones you pick up yourself? I yeah. don't want to further confuse things, but the bobblehead museum and Hall of Fame are one and the same. Oh, oh okay. So every bobblehead the same collection that resides in the museum is, in fact, in the Hall of Fame. Is there a Venn diagram where there are parts that are in the museum and Hall of Fame, but not... Do you know what I mean? That's a great point. It, it, they it, are it, almost a concentric circle. Oh, geez. Okay. But so there is, is a sliver that's just the museum what, and a sliver that's just the what Hall What sliver is that? Could you describe what uh, resides within purely the in museum? In the museum, there are a collection, a small collection of ceramic bobbleheads that come from the 17 and 1800s when mm. bobbleheads were believed to have been started. Oh, Chinese wow. bobbleheads that showed up in the United Kingdom. I oh, can confirm okay. that is when they started. And then on the sliver of the Hall of Fame <laughs> part, just, I was there. Because you were there. I was 100 at the time. Oh, yeah, I've heard about you. You ate a, a pussy for two years right around then. <laughs> yep, legendary. It's good. And it was I, around then, really? Yeah, it was. Okay, well. Not a great time to be eating pussy. <laughs> well, to be, nowadays know. there's so much content out there, I don't know whether people have the patience. Yeah, I can't. I'm always on my phone binging. I Back am then, curious when the woman went to the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we don't have time to get into that right now. We're okay, talking about yeah, it seems like you just want to yeah, yeah. People had more patience to not go to the bathroom back then. Though. And True. how did she find it? Great the question. Bathroom. These, These are, are all good These questions. Are all Any, questions. Time. Any little guy to like walk her over there. I don't know. Maybe episode seven. People were shorter back then. They were bobblehead size. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how bobbleheads started? As statues with yeah. moving heads. Yes. Hmm. Statues of real people, true to size, <laughs> with you, moving you, heads. You were about to say the sliver that is uh, in the Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame and not in the museum. That's just the Pete Rose bobblehead. Oh, okay. Does <laughs> so it have its own special room? How do you keep it out of the museum? Uh, it's just off to the side. It's a, oh, Okay, but is, it, is there tape around it saying this is not part of the museum? or? Uh, actually, anyone can defile that bobblehead. Uh, we're a lot of all three <laughs> well, co-founders. Not really what I was asking. That was Baseball a crazy absolutist. left turn. Man. What? Why could anybody? Why let anybody defile it? 
Why? Yeah. He cheated the game. Oh, oh okay. I, see. I, see. I see. So now you mentioned three co-founders, and you said you're a silent co-founder. Uh-huh. So describe the the corporate structure. Because you're this. talking so much about it right now. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, because I love it. It's my passion. It's my hobby. It's my job. But you're not being silent. Yeah, when about does it. the silent part start? Meaning, when you started the business, you were a mysterious figure who I was the money man. Got it. Oh. So you, so somebody else was the the idea person. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this was not your idea. You just provided the capital. That's right. So it, you saw the opportunity, but you didn't necessarily have the passion. No, I had the passion. Oh, great. I had the money, <laughs> and I had two friends that had a bigger bobblehead collection than I had. Oh, so, how big was yours when you started? Mine was about uh, 1,000 bobbleheads. 1,000? Wow. <laughs> they That's had 1,200 bobbleheads and between them, 1,500 or? bobbleheads oh. respectively. Oh, oh wow. I see, 2,700 bobbleheads. And then it's grown. We opened our museum and hall of fame uh, earlier this year in February. Oh, you did? And we have almost 7,000 bobbleheads. Wow. 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 You've, and I can people give are, you a specific figure. You, you can't. It's all, No, I can. It's you can't. almost 7,000, but specifically it's 6,969. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! I love 69, it. 69, 69! I love that. So you, wow. High fives all around. Mm. So uh, uh, where did you get all these? Do people send them, you said, or you're buying them? or? Well, I usually would get three weeks of vacation per year, and I would just drive around the country buying up <laughs> bobbleheads with my disposable income. Mm. And what and did you do a for a story? Yeah, uh, well, because of this, I'm a historian, but so, I was an oh. actuary in real life. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. An actuary. Uh, in, you were in the insurance game, and you have a lot of disposable income from that. Uh, mm-hmm. do, were you on a bonus structure where the more policies you signed, you got more money? Or I'm trying to see, like, were, were you purely on salary? <laughs> Can you break down? Uh, how do you, how do you have down? so much money? I could answer that. Do you have any tax? <laughs> do you have any tax forms? I'd love any to know. Any liens on any of your properties? Anything like that? Nope, no. nothing like that. How okay. is your finances structured? Was it a bonus yeah. at the end of the year? Are you salaried? Is it an hourly yeah. or weekly? Was wage? it an expected bonus where everyone was like, "Oh no, we didn't get our bonuses"? I don't know how I'm gonna. Not to further confuse things, but <laughs> everything you guys mentioned. <laughs> oh, okay, great. That's what it was. Right. Um, and an actuary, like in being an actuary, are you like? Like in the business of risk assessment, risk assessment for, you know, people's mortality or for, was it specific to industry or or or, museums that, you know, might be set on fire or bobbleheads that break? Anything that has any risk associated and money associated with an actuary comes in, crunches the numbers, Mm. and then it's party time. Can I ask you about (laughs) the numbers? And then after the numbers are crunched. (laughs) And then you party. party. And then you party. Can I ask you, what's the most expensive bobblehead? Uh, Are there any rare valuable ones here? Uh, yeah, in our museum, yes, there are some. They're extremely. Or any museum, <laughs> I'll take any museum. Most museums have expensive stuff in them, Scott. Sure, uh, but I guess bobblehead museums. Ours let's limit it to those. Well, well uh, you know, really, technically, there's only one, which is the museum and Hall of Fame. Mm. And yeah, we have some very expensive bobbleheads. Okay, there are some ceramic ones that are very old. We, uh, you, we've talked about those. Ceramic yeah, those bobblehead are, yeah. of Victor Hugo. Ceramic mm. bobblehead mm. of Benedict Arnold. Ceramic oh, jeez. Bob- making a bobblehead of Benedict Arnold. <laughs> Ceramic bobblehead. Was this to celebrate him before he did what he did, or uh, was it a- well, I'm yeah. surprised they didn't sell them in order for people to smash them or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, so this is one of the only unsmashed yeah. uh, bobbleheads of Benedict hmm. Arnold. That's true. Wow. wow. And Victor Hugo, the uh, author of Les Miserables? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Wow. And he was also a representative in French Parliament. Oh, okay. I don't hmm. know that I could describe him, let alone pick him out in a bobblehead lineup. He was five foot three. He had a high pitched voice. Oh, okay. That doesn't. I don't know whether that would have <laughs> that be applicable <laughs> to his bobblehead. How much bobblehead? How many bobbleheads kind of capture the voice of the person they represent? Um, that's a great question. I Is leave it? it up to the. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, that's the best question. Thank I've you. Ever. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Well, All right. That well, maybe the second best one. The best one was, is it canon? <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. Well, that's an important question. <laughs> it is very important. But I would say uh, it depends on the imagination of the you know the the beauty is in the eye of the beholder of the bobblehead. Okay. What's your favorite bobblehead? My favorite bobblehead? Yeah. Uh, probably Robin Yount of the Milwaukee Brewers. <laughs> oh, okay. Born and raised in Milwaukee. Um, Harvey's Wall Bangers Brew Crew for Life. Wow. wow. Okay. So you 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 were born and raised in in Milwaukee. Yep. And uh, uh, th- that's wonderful. Was this was this given out at one of the games? Like at a game? Wow. Where do they give this out? That was unfortunate. <laughs> I tried to pick up the slack. I mean, Scott Rudy, had a meltdown. Rudy jumped in there, but Scott like froze. <laughs> 
I got stage fright all of a sudden. It's like I've been gone for six months and I don't even know who Scott is anymore. So Scott, like, you look like I suddenly, where am I? I suddenly you became just like woke up aware of my surroundings. <laughs> You're like, what was happening? Where am I? How long has this been going on? All right, let me catalog. Like, I'm it's, guessing that's rude and ugly. Eleven more. years of this? <laughs> But that is wonderful. <laughs> it is wonderful. Thanks, yeah. How it, much is admission to the bobblehead? Uh, right now it's $6 for admission. Mm, but you're planning to change or, yeah, or you gonna, have changed recently? Yeah, we have changed recently. It oh, used okay. to be $4. Now it's up to $6. Mm. But we've added a lot of things. Like you can you can drink. There's a full bar inside the. Oh, okay. Okay. oh neat. Uh, Open fun. bar or do you charge per cocktail? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. Is that a good one? Now, I know I'm wearing the shirt that says, ask me anything. I'm a dumbass, but it's not an open bar, Scott. I'm just saying, that'd be a a great deal. Six six dollars to get in and free drinks. More businesses should do that. You know, especially businesses that are looking to get more customers in saying, the door. I don't know if I it's would, a good idea. I would maybe travel to Milwaukee to go visit this I know if that were the case. And you also love bobbleheads. Yeah. I course. know I'm wearing pants that say, stop looking at my crotch. I'm a dumbass. But <laughs> you, we you charge look like for you're drinks. sponsored. You but look like what are like pillows, a Are guy. these your t-shirts and pants? Like, do you make these? <laughs> I do. My hmm. wife helped, My wife and I have a, a t-shirt printing business you do really right but is the t-shirt business like is that a thriving business or is it really just a side hobby but really you dedicate your time to the it's a side hobby actuary is my main money maker oh that's right you're still an actuary i'm still an actuary then comes the because i'm the money man so i got to keep the money flowing sure sure and then i'm a national bobblehead museum hall of fame uh that's that's the that makes up a little bit of your income a sliver or a a good chunk that's a that's a good chunk and then really it's just a passion project between my wife and i uh because anytime we successfully make a t-shirt it translates into some other places where we're both the gas, if you know what I mean. Okay. When you are successful at making a t-shirt. Both the heads are bobbling. <laughs> okay. My head Got is it. bobbling. Got it. Got have it. there ever been any um, comedy bang bang bobbleheads? There haven't. I would love to have some. Mm. Yeah. A little com- uh, it'd be me and uh, Reggie and Cuddy and Weird Al. Ruby That's about North, it. of course. No, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> I don't know that we've ever described you. Oh, yeah. Well, of course, I'm seven feet tall. <laughs> well, okay. Now, hang on. Now, this is interesting. <laughs> I'm seven feet tall. Seven feet tall? Of course. We've never talked about it. Of course. I, we didn't have time before. We didn't. And, of course, it's I'm back from hell. I have two hordes that have been cut off like Hellboy. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and, of course, I'm wearing baggy, baggy jinkos. <laughs> of course you are. So, that yeah. goes without saying. So, yeah, we can make a bobblehead of that. That would be really fun. Do you make bobbleheads or do you exclusively buy them? I've tried to make bobbleheads, but the science of making bobbleheads is pretty complicated. I really? I don't know that it's yeah, science. It seems like it. I would m- imagine getting the head to bobble would be the, the primary That's difficulty. That's the toughest part. It yeah. Seems gotta... like it's just a spring, though. Oh. <laughs> Wait, there's a spring in those? <laughs> there is. Oh, okay. Yeah, it took me a long time. I didn't find out until one of my bobbleheads broke. Oh, oh no, man. which one? Oh, it was really tragic. Oh, no. Which, yeah. which of your bobbleheads? Cal Penn. Cal Penn. <laughs> Was it a Harold and Kumar tie-in? It was. Oh, yep. no. Yeah. Wow. Or it wasn't a 1600 Pennsylvania bobblehead. <laughs> it's a Sunnyside bobblehead? A recent Sunnyside bobblehead? <laughs> no, luckily those are still all in mint condition. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's a Cal Penn wing. <laughs> Okay. There's also one where he was helping the Obama administration. Oh, sure. Really? Mm-hmm. Just devoted Absolutely. to that. It's him wearing it's a tie. <laughs> mm-hmm. No you? jacket. That's how so, I see all those guys. Yeah. Tie and no jacket. No time for the jacket. Take it off. Yeah. Too hot in the situation room. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Cal Penn was ever in the situation room? Oh, man. That would be amazing. That yeah. would be amazing. They photoshopped him out when he, he was watching bin Laden die, too. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Was he like flipping off the screen? They were like, oh, no, we got to Photoshop. They were like, get everybody, get the entire cabinet in here and Harold and or Kumar. (laughs) Either one. Get them both if you can, but I'll take either one. He's handing uh, handing Joe Biden a Pepsi in a White Castle (laughs) cup and they had to Photoshop it out. They had a box of sliders while they watched uh, Bin Laden get, get done. Do you, any special events coming up with the uh, Bobblehead Museum? Do you have uh, yep. festivals or anything? Yep, we have uh, we have National Bobblehead Night every Tuesday. <laughs> every just so the nation <laughs> celebrates every Tuesday night National Bobblehead Night. Uh huh. Wow, and Virginia, then, could I ask you a quick question? Would you ever 
in your kind of career, review the Bobblehead Bobble Hall Heads, of Fame. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Like the event, the experience of going to the Museum and Hall of Fame uh, uh, for Bobbleheads. Or is that That'd not nice. a, a production? Publicity. You know, it's it's certainly still the arts. Yeah. Um, well, I like what I'm hearing. Um, from for me or from him? From everyone. From me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Definitely. What about when you. I zoned out in the middle? <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> What about when Scott took a quick nap? <laughs> Just caught a little Z's in the middle of an answer. I'm used to people falling asleep during mm. productions. Oh. Mm. Um, but, you know, you, you really, when I heard about the $6 admission fee, it really caught me. I yeah. thought, Ugh, that, you know, that kind of makes me not want to go. Too rich for your blood, really. I, and it's not. Can't you get in uh, free for on a press pass? Yeah, press oh, pass. okay. Yeah, we would comp you. Okay. And is there a production that you would like to see me and my staff put on? With the bobbleheads? I guess it depends what actor bobbleheads you have. Actor? Oh, you want So you want us you just want holding to be true. actor bobbleheads? <laughs> yes. Yeah, God. exclusively actor bobbleheads. Do you, so have you can, like a, do you have like an Emma Watson bobblehead or a Ryan Gosling bobblehead? But even younger. Even younger? Mm. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes. I forgot. <laughs> Your type would be gross. Uh, who, who plays Archie on Riverdale? AJ Kappa? Sure, sure. Young yeah, Sheldon. Ka- young, young Sheldon. Sheldon. Okay, head. we're getting too young. Much younger uh, than high school. <laughs> yeah, we have all the young Sheldon bobbleheads. You have all, all the, of them. The yep. entire collection? Uh huh. Wow. We have the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody bobbleheads. Oh, okay. okay. I feel like the amount of bobbleheads you've Speaking described <laughs> sounds a lot more than like 4,000 bobbleheads. 7,000, he says. 7,000. I mean, it's. All right, let me ask you this. He's uh, only mentioned 20. <laughs> do you, all right, check this experiment out. Do you have an OJ Simpson bobblehead? Yep. Do you have a uh, Ace Ventura bobblehead? Yep. Do you have a Joe Montana bobblehead? Yep. And Jerry Rice and Roger Craig. <laughs> okay, that, see, uh, well, if you can just say that, there's bobbleheads. only there's six thousand. more. <laughs> we're like not even yeah, broken. Yeah, there's like, like six thousand. We're still and in double digits. Okay, left. okay. Do you have the? Do you have a Nelson Mandela dressed up like Austin Powers bobblehead? Yep. Plus, <laughs> see, now, that, now, now. Okay, I, I get it. <laughs> Plus, the South African president that he deposed is dressed up as Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And an even smaller bobblehead. Head of that same guy as the mini me. No Dr. way! Wow. But still, incredible. we're only at about 31. <laughs> I'll pitch you this for Stitcher Premium. Okay. Rudy North and I are going through every bobblehead. <laughs> I'll, li- I'll listen. I'll listen. That's a, that do is you an have, appointment do you have a bob? Do you have like series of bobbleheads, like the great dictators? Do you have like right. Hitler, Mussolini, Idi Amin? He just wants you to get to the dictator, the movie that he was <laughs> the, in, to see if there's the a Jason Manzoukas. Yes. Yes. Is there a Jason Manzoukas Do you have a TikTok we man? Have, we have, no, we don't have TikTok man, but we do have Carl Sando, your uh, role from Rise of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you so much. (laughs) That's huge. Amazing. I gotta visit this museum, but now, Virginia... Huh. Are you going to go? Maybe we could all go together. I guess it, yeah, we could. That would be uh, great. If we want to take a trip. You're invited. I'll give you a comp as long as you try to give me a nice editorial. Oh, that's not how comps work, my friend. Oh, yeah. No pay for play? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Especially not like on a podcast you shouldn't yeah. talk about. It. By the yeah. way, this is, yeah, it's not, uh, You. we shouldn't be recording this if this is the kind of uh, arrangement that you want to make. How many of these do you record? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How many Every do once not in a while. <laughs> All the time. Every once in a while, we'll put one out. Um, well, I want to make a trip now. Rudy, you I see- kind of want to go just to see yeah. if I can get a job at this place. Yeah. So did you guys do, you said Milwaukee? Yep. On the tour? Uh, we did not do it this year, no. Let, I, but we always could. We, we're adding dates all the time. Why don't you set it? I'll come to the Milwaukee, Milwaukee dates. and then we'll all go to yeah. this. With the, Rudy Norris. I'll be there. And, and the with Virginia. Theater. You yeah. play at the Paps Theater, and then we go to the safe house across the street after, the which is a spy house? bar. Oh, okay. Oh. You have to sneak in with a secret password. Oh, what's oh, the password? password? It changes every night. you got to find people on the street and choke it out of them. <laughs> <laughs> choke it out of them? <laughs> Sounds like my old life. Did I do oh, this? Oh, poor Rudy. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Was that triggering for you? Yeah, anytime somebody uh, talks about a hand going near a throat, I'm just uh, like, I can't do that shit. Now. I'm sorry, man. Well, look, we're running out of time here. We only have time for.